Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Painting the Mansions of Madness Minis with Foster the Meeple. My name is Zach, and today I'm going to be painting Rita Young, the athlete investigator from Mansions of Madness 2nd Edition. I'm starting off by doing a base layer for the skin tone using Oak Brown from the Army Painter War Paints line, which is the series of paint that I'm using for all of my minis currently. There's an interesting thing here with this sculpt, and it's kind of unique for the investigators in Mansions of Madness. It's a really dynamic pose where Rita is in a running stance in motion, but overall the model doesn't really have a lot of fine detail. And if you go by the card art, most of her uniform is white. So the challenge here is going to be giving that some volume and not having it look like I just slapped a bunch of flat white on it and said that I was finished. If you look at the wet palette, you can see that I'm just mixing up a slightly lighter version of this brown skin tone. And the goal is going to be to try and use a bunch of different layers and variations of this tone, getting lighter and lighter, to give the flesh a little bit of volume. And you can see that I'm focusing now on the upraised portions of the skin. So the upper part of each arm, this front leg where the leg is forward, would be facing up and then the back leg a bit more on the side and back of the leg here. You should be able to see on the back of the uniform here there's a vertical black line and that's just where I had scraped off some mold lines. Unfortunately I did that after priming which is backwards but I had never done that before until I was getting ready to paint the minis for this game, and I thought I should get on that. Right now, I'm using my off-white, which is mummy robes, and I'm giving all of the white areas of the mini, which is basically all of the clothing, uh, first base coat. It took a couple of layers for me to get a good coverage with this mummy robe, and you can see I start laying it on a little bit thicker on my second pass. After I had that base coat, I took my matte white and ash gray, and this is where I'm going to basically work out how to get some variety into that uniform. So I'm taking the ash gray and filling in all of the recesses and folds of the uniform first, and then I'm just kind of seeing how it goes and working on getting the darker recesses and smoothing out transitions so it doesn't look like stark, harsh lines all over the place. I was actually painting this mini simultaneously with Minty Fan, which is why you can see that mini in the bottom left corner. And I had a lot of crossover paints that I was using, so here I'm taking the Necromancer's Cloak and I'm using that to put in a base coat over Rita's hair, which is the same color that I used for Minty Fan. Next I grab the crystal blue because in this mini basically that's the color that makes the white in the uniform a bit less monotonous. So there's some blue for the shoes here and there's some blue for the sash that runs diagonally across the uniform. I'm using a relatively small brush here and mainly just trying not to make a big mess of things, trying to keep the lines straight, not get all blotchy all over the uniform so that I don't have to go back in 
and retouch up the white very much. At this point you can see that I'm resting the holder for the mini directly on the table and that's because I'm trying to paint these straight lines around the sock and I'm trying to eliminate as much motion as possible. So either I have the entire mini holder on the table or I at least have my left hand planted on the table to try and get things as steady as possible. At this point, I'm taking some lighter white and I'm starting to do some highlights on the raised edges of the folds in the uniform. I decided to try something a little different for the eyes than normal. I'm starting with black in the eye sockets. Then I'm gonna put the blob of white and come back in and do the pupils. And this is gonna make it look like she's got a bit of eyeliner going on and uh, give it a bit of different look than the eyes I've tried in the past. So always a nerve wracking part of doing the mini to try and not make it look too goofy when you're making the eyes. I decided to paint the base of the mini black at this point just to take a little time to reflect on what I've done so far and think about my next steps. Going back to the palette now with a smaller brush and I'm going to get a little bit of black. I'm wiping the excess off on my thumb because I don't want a huge blob and I'm very carefully going in to do the first pupil just a light touch, a little more paint, wipe off the excess, and the same thing for the other eye. After working on the eyes, I went back to the skin tone and I'm basically just going over, making sure that I'm getting a bit of volume in by use of highlights on the most raised parts of the skin that are towards the sun and just trying to get a little bit of variety so I'm not ending up with just a flat look. I'm taking some time to work on the face with the same sort of thing, highlights and shadow, just trying to get it looking so it's not flat and it looks like an actual face. At this point, I'm pretty much done with the mini and most of what you're gonna see from here out is just basically touch up work. Going in, seeing if I have anything that's gone over where I want it to and making sure it's cleaned up a little. I use a slightly darker color than the skin tone around the rest of the face on the lips just to make them stand out a bit. One of the last bigger changes is just going in working on the hair to bring in the highlights and shadows. And I'm just going in with my wet palette and basically mixing up combos of colors that are already there and just trying to get those mixes. And then right after that, it's just back to touch-ups. Looking over the mini here at the end, there's a few things that I definitely know I need to spend a bit more time on this mini working out. Uh, the uniform doesn't have as much variation as I want it to, but I am most pleased with how the eyes turned out on this one, and I think uh, the face turned out pretty good. Thanks for watching. We have new videos for you every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday here at Foster the Meeple, which also happens to be our Instagram handle, so you should check us out there too. 
And if you need board games or board gamey things, consider shopping at your local game store. For us in Halifax, that's the Boardroom Game Cafe on Barrington Street. 